regarding add and tracker blocking. So he's played around with services like NextDNS and Control D and others. So pretty much like a firewall oriented blocking, things that you would run on the DNS wide level. And now he's trying out AdGuard at the moment. And his question is, do you recommend AdGuard or similar apps in combination with DNS filtering, or is this overkill and unnecessary? Um, I'll, I'll probably start off this one and just say on my end, I use both mainly because, um, I mean, I, I, the best analogy I can think of is ad blocking. Um, your DNS filter can block a lot of ads. It can have ad blocking built in, but it won't be able to block all the ads. YouTube ads won't be blocked, for example, if you use a DNS filter because the DNS filter is limited to just domain name blocking, which is somewhat limited in scope. Whereas a web browser tool can actually go into individual elements on the web page and block things that couldn't be blocked via DNS. So I don't think it's overkill at all. I would personally use both. Is that what you do? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, even you pretty much covered everything I was going to say, but the other thing is also using an ad blocker extension in your browser makes the experience better as well, because like with DNS level blocking, it doesn't really change the content of the page. You oftentimes have like big blocks of empty space where an ad was because it was blocked by DNS, but most ad blockers will like change the style of that page to hide those elements completely. So you don't have big missing sections of a page, but right. yeah, that's pretty much it. Right. I agree. And, um, yeah, if you don't like AdGuard, uh, you can even do things like combine uBlock and NextDNS. You can do Control D and AdGuard. There's tons of different combinations. So just play around and see what works for you. But I don't think it's overkill mm -hmm. at all.